something like a lot of innovation within the uh, yeah. brand and products itself. And uh, since the next movie is coming up, is there any hints as to uh, the storyline of the new movie that's going to be coming up? Yeah, we, we already uh, announced it uh, last, last week. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make uh, Admiral Upin and Ipin, okay. the story about their adventure. The reason we picked that kind of... Uh, initially, we want to make uh, Upin and Ipin going up. But realizing uh, there's a lot of uh, more exciting story uh, that we can blend between Malaysia and Indonesia by taking the mystical stories about Malaysia, Indonesia. So I think the adventure, adventure on the sea is better. Uh, and this film will be done in stereoscopic uh, 3D, full 3D. Uh, so there's a lot of cost, there's a lot of research. We already started to send some of my boys to Singapore, and next month two of them are going to LA to learn how to the technique of making uh, the stereoscopic. And I'm proud that this uh, studio, uh, our company, grows this big uh, without any foreign assistance. Very good. Congratulations yeah. on that. And of course, with that, uh, what's your next plan in place for the ultimate destination of uh, Let's Go Park Studio together with the Upin Ipin character and yourself? Where do you see yourself moving in the next five years, ten years down the road? And what will be happening with this organization? I, I, I see it's going to be very big. Uh, but I'm not sure I'm there or not. Uh, okay. Because uh, I told the boys uh, one day, I hope UPP will be in probably uh, Wall Street. Sure, sure. Okay. And you always continue mentioning your boys, your boys. Yeah. Um, are these boys the people that you have groomed over the years and it, will it be handed over to them someday to be running the business? Yeah, that's my, my th that's the way I want to see it. Uh, I want to develop that uh, because they started with us. Uh, most of them are fresh graduates. And uh, by joining me, they learn how to do business, they learn how to grow, they have to learn uh, human resource. But you must know how to handle them uh, because they are creative people. Sure. Some of the creative people, they can only do work at night. That's where you have to discipline them. The, to me, their career is similar to a, any other people like engineers, so that you must have a set working hours. Uh, you must be disciplined sure. and you must learn. Okay. Uh, one last question over here. Any advices that you have for starting up entrepreneurs because we are here wanting to not just interview entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs like yourself in very interesting fields. Uh, there are a lot of fresh graduates who have graduated with animation degree and they all want to start their own business. But obviously, discipline, there's a lot of things that they need to do and they don't understand that. What would be the advice that you have for these young starting up entrepreneurs, especially in the field that you're in? Yeah, if you're in the field that I'm in now, uh, the first thing, you must have money. No doubt the government has a lot of grants on that. Uh, but until the problem with all these grants is uh, you have to spend first. It's claimable basis. Uh, that's when... That's where a lot of studios uh, apply the grant. When they got the grant, they started doing it. Ah, we, they cannot do it because they don't have money and wait for the grant. But the grant say you must hit a milestone. Uh, that's why I see this, this business is a very risky business. Because any product, you have to come out, uh, it takes some time, uh, probably one year. Uh, but who knows, uh, at the end of the year, your product come out and nobody wants to buy you can sell, but you cannot recoup all your investment. This is very, very risky. Unless you have good money, you have money, then only you can proceed. If you depend on grant, I said, you better work somewhere else. And you need a lot of contacts. Uh, whatever business you are doing, uh, the first thing, uh, you must have networking. How to get networking? You have to work first. Know the people, know the business. Uh, a lot of people going into a business without enough knowledge, no networking. You can't do it. Sure. Yeah. I, I like it a little bit. This would be the last question. Uh, would you care to share your secret to your success from a very successful oil and gas man moving over to now, uh, I would say, a tycoon in the uh, animation <laughs> industry? Um, what is that secret formula that have caused you to be able to get to where you are today? I think. 
the thing is, you must know what you want to achieve. Uh, you cannot be over ambitious. Uh, as long as what you think, 80% you can achieve, uh, you should go on. And I'm an engineer, not an uh, accountant, uh, where I go to very detailed. For me, if it's about uh, 80%, okay, I will go. And along the way, I try to correct uh, whatever the shortfall. Uh, even in in this business also, when we started, uh, there's a lot of error, a wastage, uh, like film gang. Uh, we, actually, we did 120 minutes of animation. Uh, in the end, we only used 90 minutes. Uh, it's a lot of waste. Uh, but you can't run away. Uh, actually, what we have done is wonders. Nobody have come out with an animation studio. First time we a fresh graduate, you want to make animation film, and when it come out, it become a hit. Nobody have done it before. There are some studios uh, where it been existed for the last ten years, trying hard make the movie, and cannot sell. But we are lucky. First time, everything perfect. If <laughs> okay, great, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. First class entrepreneur. Uh, Haji Bonan, thank you very much for spending time with us over here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. I'm Rain Chan, serial entrepreneur, a very successful young entrepreneur and helping out young entrepreneurs out there as well. Haji Bonan with us over here. Let's go park. Opinion Pin. Catch the second movie coming up into the screens near you. Thank you.